In this exciting video, we'll delve into a riveting showdown between two titans of the African waters, the mighty hippo and the formidable Nile crocodile that both are native to the vibrant landscapes of Africa, sharing aquatic habitats in various regions across the continent. Now, we want to hear from you. Who do you think would emerge victorious in a face-off between these remarkable animals? Share your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay tuned for more thrilling content just like this. Let's start by talking about their size and weight. Hippos are among the largest land mammals on Earth. They can reach lengths of up to 4 meters. At the shoulder, they stand around 1.4 to 1.5 meters. Adult male hippos typically weigh between 1,600 to 4,100 kilograms. Females are slightly smaller, usually ranging from 1,300 to 2,500 kilograms. The Nile crocodiles are one of the largest crocodile species and are known for their impressive size. They can grow to be 4.9 to 6 meters long, with some individuals reaching even greater lengths. Their weight can vary widely depend based on age and environment factors but they generally weigh between 227 to 545 kilograms. In comparison, hippos are more massive than Nile crocodiles. However, Nile crocodiles are longer and have a sleeker, more streamlined body shape compared to the bulky and rounded shape of hippos. Let's continue by talking about their jaws and bite force. Both hippos and crocodiles have powerful jaws and formidable bite forces, but they use them in different ways and their lethality can vary in different situations. Hippos have incredibly strong jaws with large canines that can grow up to 50 centimeters long. These massive canines, along with their powerful jaw muscles, make hippos capable of crushing bones and effortlessly tearing through vegetation. Their bite force is estimated to be around 1100 to 1800 pounds per square inch. Nile crocodiles, on the other hand, have very sharp teeth with the incredible bite force estimated to be around 5,000 pounds per square inch, or even more. They are well known for their exceptionally strong jaws and high bite force. Their bite is used to secure and immobilize prey while they drag it into water to drown or consume. So in terms of pure jaw strength and bite force, Nile crocodiles have a more lethal bite compared to hippos. Moving on, we also need to talk about both animals' speed and agility. Both hippos and Nile crocodiles have different levels of speed and agility adapted to their respective environments. Hippos are deceptively fast runners despite their large and bulky bodies. They can reach speeds of up to 30 to 32 kilometers per hour over short distances, particularly on land. This surprising speed can make them dangerous on land especially if they feel threatened or are defending their territory. In aquatic habitats, they can reach speeds of around 8 to 13 kilometers per hour, so much slower than on land. With crocodiles, it is the other way around. They are not well suited for moving on land and are relatively slow and awkward when it comes to terrestrial locomotion. Their legs are short and not adapted for efficient land movement, and they tend to move clumsily on land. However, they are significantly faster and more agile in the water. Nile crocodiles are highly adapted swimmers and can move with remarkable speed and grace. They can swim at speeds of up to 32 to 40 kilometers per hour in short bursts, which makes them formidable aquatic predators. In comparison, hippos are faster runners on land, whereas Nile crocodiles are significantly faster and more agile in the water. Let us continue by talking about advantages and disadvantages that both animals have considering their habitat. On land, hippos have the advantage of being highly territorial and aggressive. They are more comfortable and agile on land, allowing them to better defend their territory against intruders. Hippos often live in groups on land, which can provide support in confrontations and deter predators or threats. The only real disadvantage that hippos have is that they are not very agile in the water, meaning that they could have problems protecting themselves when suddenly attacked. Nile crocodiles, on the other hand, are the complete opposite. They are agile swimmers, but slow and clumsy on land. While crocodiles are territorial, their aggressive behavior may be more pronounced in the water. Hippos are more at home on land and can leverage this to their advantage. So in a nutshell, 
hippos have the advantage on land, while crocodiles have the advantage in water. To determine who could win in a fight, we also need to take a look at their defense mechanisms. Nile crocodiles have thick scaly skin covered in bony plates called osteoderms. These plates act as armor, providing protection from potential threats, such as teeth and claws of other animals. The armor also helps in dissipating the force of an attack. The skin is incredibly tough and difficult to penetrate. Nile crocodiles are also excellent at blending into their environment. They often lie in wait in water bodies, partially submerged, with only their eyes and nostrils above the surface. This camouflage makes them difficult to spot, enabling them to ambush unsuspecting prey or threats. Hippos' sheer size and muscular build act as a formidable defense mechanism. They can intimidate and physically overpower potential threats, making them less likely to be targeted by predators. Now that we have discussed all the aspects, the question arises, which of the two animals would win a fight? The hippopotamus or the crocodile? Although there are some aspects that speak in favor of the hippopotamus and the crocodile, such as the weight and the pure mass and strength of the hippopotamus, or the hardened skin and bite force of the crocodile. However, in the end, it depends on the habitat in which the animals will fight. When fighting on land, the hippopotamus has a decisive advantage. In the water, however, the crocodile would most likely win. But what do you think? Write your opinion in the comments down below, and if you want to see more of these videos, Click on the last video above where we discuss a fight between a lion and a tiger. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.